Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and today we have the first update for Beauty A2C 2022. I'm doing it all eyeshadows where I'm trying to pan in 26 different eyeshadows. I have been using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shadows in January and um, I will be showing you those seven. So yeah, let's let's jump right in. I will tell you this now. I don't have any pants. I'm really close to one that I know I will hit in February, and I do think I will have maybe yeah, at least one, maybe two, depending on how things goes. But yeah, let's go from the top. For the letter F, I have my color pop mint to be palette in the shade Freshman. This one right here, really pretty um, green shadow. I used it once, uh, but there's a small dip going on, as you can tell. Um, so, yeah, it's just a nice, light, shimmery green. Uh, I'm really close to another, to getting a pan in one other shade in that palette as well. So, maybe I will have one more pan in this one by next update, but I'm guessing not in the shade Freshman. Then we have, for the letter I, we have Incarnate, which is a Lethal Cosmetics shadow, a B, which is this one right here, a really cool tone mauve pink, really stunning. Um, it's a nice everyday shadow as well. I used it when I had my interview together with another shadow I will tell you about later. But again, this one I only used once. And again, that one will be really pretty for an everyday um, use when I start in my new job. Then for the letter J, uh, we have a Give Me Glow single in the shade Joker, which is this really dark green right there. I have it on the outer V and lower lash line. Uh, really pretty, really pretty dark green shimmer. Um, yeah, really, really stunning. It's kind of a olivey, dark yellow toned green. Absolutely stunning. I love it. I love it. This one will take a little bit longer. I did hit pan in the electric mint shade from Give Me Glow, but that one I was using all over the lid, and this one is just in the outer corners, so this one will take a little bit longer than the electric mint one. Then we're going back to Lethal Cosmetics and the letter K for Kindred, which is this orangey golden shadow right here. Um, I've used this one twice. It's a really nice kind of duochrome shade. And this one will be really pretty for summertime. Uh, it's this one right here. You can really tell the color story of my Beauty A to C range. Uh, there's a lot of pinks, there's a lot of neutrals, and there's a lot of greens. Um, with one hint of blue and some purples. So, yeah. Um, really pretty. Used it twice. Oh, the Joker I used twice as well. Um, a 
absolutely really love it. I paired it, this one pairs really nicely with my Give It To Me Straight palette from Colourpop, which is my palette matte palette I want to finish this year. Uh, really pretty with those shades. So yeah, that's a good pairing. Then for the letter M, we're still gonna be with my Lethal Cosmetics shadows and we're going to Midway right here, this matte brown. Again, this one will be awesome for uh, when I start work. It's just a nice transition shadow and a two shadow look will be really good with this shadow. Um, especially with the shimmers I have in my Pan Matte palettes and yeah, everything. Use this once. Then we're going to the one shadow I use the most and uh, that is the shade Onset. It's this mauve pink matte right there. I used it a total of five times and my goal was to do pan in this one by this update, but it did not happen. This is just a really beautiful first transition shade. I'm wearing it today with the pink parts. Um, and that's how I've been using it. I've been using it with pink looks for the most part. And this is the shadow I paired up um it's right here i paired it with this one these are super nice together as a two shadow look and um, that was what i wore in the interview um and yeah i'm doing the 10 pinks 10, 10 pinks 10 days of pink challenge and um i have used this a few more times now that we're in february I'm only giving you the January numbers, I will give you the February numbers in next update. Uh, just easier to keep track for month to month instead of update to update. So, yeah. Used it five times, really, really do love this one. Really stunning shadow and it's my really my type of an everyday neutral shadow. Lastly, we're going all the way down to the last letter, the letter Z. And for that we have the Beauty Bay Naked Tutorials palette in the shade Zoomer, which is this shadow right here. And again, this one is a really nice orangey transition shadow. Um, I paired this one up, this is really stunning, I paired it up with this one and my Pan Matte palette, the Colourpop Give It To Me Straight palette, and it's just beautiful, I love it. I used it once, um, and this one and that one will be really pretty as a two shadow look when I start work. Um, so yeah, a lot of these shadows in here will get used when I do start work because there's a lot of neutrals and a lot of everyday like shimmers like this pink and this orangey one um, so there's more like the greens and the purples and the darker shades I need to use now that I'm not working or in the weekends or really really sure on my lids um, because I don't know how the office will take a look like this for instance um, just yet so yeah now I have shimmers all over uh, but these are the seven shadows I have been working on in the month of January I used these seven shades a total of 13 times um, where four of them were used one time, 
two of them were used twice and one were used five times so yeah it's an okay start i'm doing a lot of eyeshadows as you know i have my 50 shades of purple um that i'm i need to work harder on i have my three palette palettes one to finish two to eat pan in as many as possible um spoiler i hit two pans in one of the palettes today doing this look so yeah and then i'm doing this one and then i do have some eyeshadows in my friends project pan some in my throwback 30 one in my panners bingo what else all i do have in hashtag pie do i have some in project 10 uses i do not remember and then of course my build your own palette series that i still need to bring back but i'm not sure when that will be so yeah that's it for the first update i'm not mad i am hoping to get to use more of the shades this month in the month of february i am i have currently used three shadows two of which are in this look um but yeah i really need to step up my game and get some uses here and there for from this project um, especially when it comes to the letter L and P, because those are from my Pat McGrath palettes and they are really deep. So, yeah, it's, I don't know how long this will be going on, uh, but as I said earlier, if I do meet most of my goals sometime in the summer, I might do Beauty A to Z 22 part 2. Uh, so, yeah, it will be interesting to see how this will go with my palette palettes. Today I'm mixing a little bit from this one, a little bit from... This is Fantasy, a little bit from my Pamat palette, a little bit from Panner's Bingo, and yeah, a little bit of everything. So I just need to keep doing that and try to get some reuses on. The rest of the shades in this project but that's it um i hope you enjoy and i hope i will see you again in my next video bye